What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Star Wars Black Series, the Imperial Stormtrooper. And so here we have the Imperial Stormtrooper posed and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's actually run through his one and only accessory. The Stormtrooper does come with the standard issue E11 style blaster which does fit in his right hand really nicely. I do like the way it looks. Other than that, we don't get any other accessories for the Stormtrooper. I would have liked to see the Heavy Assault Rifle included, but unfortunately in the Mandalorian, they really don't use a Heavy Assault Rifle, they just use the E11. So I can understand why they just have that. So, with that out of the way guys, let's actually take a closer look at the Imperial Stormtrooper. And so here we have a closer look at the Imperial Stormtrooper, and I think Hasbro has done an amazing job with this figure. For a $20 action figure, I think they knocked it out of the park with this figure in terms of sculpt, detail, paint apps. Everything on this figure works exceptionally well. There are some points of articulation that I kind of wish he had, but at the same time, for what he is, he's a really, really nice figure. So, let's actually take a closer look at the Stormtrooper. We do have the traditional Stormtrooper style helmet, although... I forgot if this is based off the Rogue One helmet or if it's based off the New Hope helmet. I don't remember the mouth guard right here. I think those vents are post-Empire, so they started coming on after Empire Strikes Back. But it does look really, really nice. I do like the way the helmet looks. And if you want an Imperial Stormtrooper, this is a really nice figure to own. There's a lot of things to like about him. You can see the have the ventilation right here on the side we have that black rim right above the lenses right there going all the way around we do have some more ventilation right there in the back of the helmet so overall they did a really good job capturing the stormtroopers likeness from the mandalorian tv show and it's really really good i like the way he turned out something i do like is they they didn't really put a head underneath it but they did put a pseudo head it's actually like a white plain head that the helmet rests on and that does create a little bit of space for the helmet to move in and it has a really natural looking feel to it so i really do like that now i would think that the armor seems a little bit narrow i think it could have been a little bit wider but overall i still like the design of it it looks superb especially how it all comes together nicely. One thing I do like is that his chest plate, or chest plate right here is a separate piece so it does move around and help out with adjustments with articulation so I really do like that. So the armor here is a floating piece which does a really good job of looking like an actual torso but like I said it does move around so you can adjust it as you want. We do have all these little modules right here on the back. Pauldrons come over the shoulder really nicely and I like the way Hasbro actually designed these shoulders. They're probably some of my favorite shoulder pads ever and we'll explain that in the articulation. But yeah, really liking this armor, how just sleek it is. It's a really nice uh, plastic looking, which is how the Stormtroopers are. They're kind of plastic looking even though they're it's supposed to be like a steel or is it... Now, I don't remember if it's supposed to be like Durasteel or something like it, but it does look really nice. And I do like the fact that they did paint the parts on the hand really nicely and there's no uh, slop right there. So really good job there. We do have some more paint detailing right here. So that looks really nice. Really love the detailing here on his abdomen going all the way around. You can see this really nice little container here. I forgot what this container is called. I know the original Stormtrooper design, they were supposed to have lightsabers, and this was supposed to be where they stored their lightsaber, but now it's just like a little container, so that does look nice. Now, you can tell these are not uh, Stormtroopers from A New Hope because they are missing the gun holster for the E-11. So overall, yeah, it's pretty accurate to the Mandalorian. Can't really complain too much because the Stormtrooper armor is really simple, but it has all these nice little details on it that you can miss out on if you're not really looking for it. Like right here, you can see a little bit of studs right there. This one doesn't have it. So overall, really, really liking the way this figure came out. Going all the way down to his feet, this figure has a lot of detail that Hasbro really didn't need to put in, 
but they did and I really do enjoy that. So with that out of the way guys, let's actually get a comparison between the Stormtrooper and other figures you may have in your collection. Here we do have the Imperial Stormtrooper posed next to a Marvel Legends Cyclops and a DC Multiverse Superman. Here we have the Stormtrooper posed next to a WWE Elite Scale figure and a Mezco 112th Collective Popeye the Sailor Man. Here we have the Imperial Stormtrooper posed next to a Lightning Collection White Ranger and a Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian. And finally here we have the Imperial Stormtrooper posed next to the Republic Clone Trooper and a First Order Stormtrooper. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's actually have a look at the Stormtrooper's articulation. Now he does have some really interesting points of articulation. For one thing, his head is on a dumbbell joint so he can look up and down really nicely. I love the way that joint works. So he does have some really nice head tilt. Does turn left and right, no problem. But he also has a ball joint going into the neck so that range does go that far forward, that far, or that far forward that far back so he does get some really nice head movement especially going to the side really nice head pivot there we do have butterfly joints in the shoulder which does pivot forward pivots backwards and I really do like that now this is where I really love the design of the shoulder it is a floating piece which I do like that it's not attached to the shoulder so it will move around as you need it to if it was attached to the shoulder, if you tried moving it up like that, it would butt it up into this piece of armor. But it's actually on a free-floating ring that is in the shoulder, so you can move the arm like this, and you can see it does make the armor move at an unnatural angle. Or you can actually grip it and move the armor with the shoulder, so I really do like that little piece of articulation. And again, you can move that shoulder around, and you can see how the pauldron right there functions it's a really really nice design i love that goes out to the side no problem and going all the way around 360 is no problem especially if you're gripping it properly that pauldron will go all the way around we do have rotation and hinge here at the elbow giving us better than 90 degrees which does help with gun holding poses we do have an in and out hinge for the right or for the left hand up and down hinge for the right hand so right hand has the up and down hinge left hand has the in and out hinge we have a ball joint right here which does fun function really nicely it goes back goes forward to the side to the other side as well as rotation nothing in the waist but legs do kick forward to about right there they kick back about that far which is really impressive out to the side it's decent for a stormtrooper we do have thigh swivel up high, although swiveling out is no problem. Swiveling in does butt up against his cod piece. We do have rotation here at the knee. Single bend at the knee giving us a little bit better than 90 degrees, so that works really nicely. Hinge in the foot goes back and forward, as well as forward facing pin for rocker ankle. So overall, really, really liking the articulation here on the Imperial Stormtrooper. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually take a a moment to get him posed for my final thoughts and then we'll wrap up this review and so here we have the imperial stormtroopers pose for my final thoughts and overall really really did enjoy getting this figure and i absolutely love army builders like this so of course i was going to pick up more than one i actually have 10 imperial stormtroopers for a small little squadron and i think they look superb together i think this is one of the best army builders that hasbro has ever put together i know the first order stormtroopers were really nice the original stormtroopers were again pretty good figures in their own right but i do feel like these figures are much better than the original stormtroopers Mainly because the aesthetic looks more like a guy in a suit, so I think that's why I'm a little more drawn to these than the original Stormtrooper figures, but that's not taking away from those figures. Those were still great figures. These, on the other hand, are superb, and I think any Star Wars fan is going to want to have these Imperial Stormtroopers in your collection. If you are looking for the Imperial Stormtroopers, they are starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video, although I have seen the Return of the Jedi wave with... Uh, with uh, who is it? Luke, Khan, Leia, and was it the armor? That wave is starting to hit stores at the time I'm making this video, but you can still find Stormtroopers in stores. They are really hard to come by, though. If you try getting them on Amazon, you will end up paying $40 for them. I picked up my 10 Imperial Stormtroopers from Big Bad Toy Store, and I never looked back, so I am really happy about that. I might pick up more, or I might be satisfied with 10. Who knows? We'll just see how it goes, but 
if you are looking for the Imperial Stormtroopers and you're a fan of Star Wars, especially the Empire, you're going to want to have this, this essential army builder. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other Star Wars Black Series videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you'd like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.